I want to bring in now former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty for more on this announcement. Um, thank you for being with us, sir. I want to get your reaction uh, to Waltz now being uh, Vice President Harris's running mate. Well, good morning to you and to your viewers. Uh, first of all, I, congratulations to Governor Walls. This is a big honor and an accomplishment by him. And while I don't agree with him politically and on his views and his worldview, I certainly congratulate him. Uh, beyond that, I think it represents a number of things. One is a doubling down of the progressive agenda. Com uh, Vice President Harris and Governor Walls both present as people who are extremely progressive. I don't know if the country will go for that. We'll see soon enough, but it's clearly uh, by way of resume and style and geography, it's a ticket balancing move, but in terms of philosophy and policy, it's doubling down on a pretty uh, far left agenda. Governor, um, I don't know how much time you spent uh, uh, working, at, if at all, with Waltz, but what is your read on him uh, as a leader? We just heard Pauline Lee say he's sort of known as a guy who just says it like it is. Is that also your read? Yeah, I know him. I've, I've done a bunch of stuff with him over the years. I like him, and he's capable. He's going to be a good campaigner. <clears throat> My only uh, problem with him is his policy views. And I think in terms of what people will learn about him, he is pretty straightforward. He's pretty folksy. He's friendly, but he has more than one gear. He can be that Minnesota nice or friendly folksy person, and he can also be the attack dog when need be. And I think that's one of the reasons Vice President Harris selected him is because she's going to need somebody to help uh, fight this fight from their perspective against uh, the Republican ticket. We can discuss a little bit more about your ideological differences, but Governor, I also want to ask you, one one thing our CBS News teams have been reporting is that Harris wanted somebody who could lead on day one and step into the presidency if need be. Do you think that Walls fits that bill? Well, nobody's probably ultimately prepared for that unless they've done it before. So it, relative to the other competitors and people who would normally fill these roles, yes, uh, I think that part of it. So it's that. Plus, do they have good chemistry together? It seems they do. Uh, we've talked about this being an amplification pick, not a balancing tip pick uh, in terms of philosophy. And then lastly, I think it, the, the question is, what does he bring politically to the table? And it, Minnesota was probably going to go for Harris anyhow, so it doesn't bring a state. But I think he's at least going to bring the appearance of somebody who's unlike the California, San Francisco uh, vibe. It's somebody from the Midwest with a different vibe. And I think that's partly what they were looking for. Governor, you have uh, outlined some demographic differences between the two on the ticket, but you, you say that they are both progressive leaning, they have the same ideologies. Are you comfortable right now with the line of attacks that you have been hearing uh, from the GOP and specifically the Trump Vance ticket against their now rivals? Well, those attacks will now spool up and we'll get to see them in full force. But I think what the Trump campaign will focus on will include the following. One, the failure to timely call out the National Guard after the riots, uh, and that's going to, Trump loves to talk about that. Two, Governor Walz presided over and proposed the largest spending increase in Minnesota history, nearly 40 percent in one budget cycle, which is jaw-dropping. Uh, there was very high-profile fraud cases under his watch and during his administration uh, that the legislative auditor nonpartisan said don't appear to be taken very seriously in terms of uh, fixing the problem or addressing the problem the way the auditor uh, thought crime is going to be an issue, and, and the list goes on. But obviously, uh, President Trump is going to focus on things that are going to try to get voters to change in persuadable voters in swing states. And I think of that list that I just gave you, that's going to be of interest to a lot of those voters. I mean, you mentioned, you know, the, the state budget uh, under Trump, the national deficit did grow. You mentioned law and order. We know that Trump has railed against the FBI, the DOJ, uh, many of the law enforcement officers who were defending uh, Jan the Capitol on January 6th. I'll let you respond to that. But also, uh, Governor, are you comfortable with some of the attacks that we're hearing from Trump against Harris, questioning her identity, saying she just turned black? No, I'm totally uncomfortable with that. Uh, Vice President Harris has said she is of mixed race. Uh, and the Trump's comments in that regard were bizarre. I don't know why he said that. It's just strange and unfortunate and, and unfair, and he should have never said it. Uh, former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, we really appreciate you joining us uh, on a busy news day. Thank you, sir.